West Michigan students used amateur radio this afternoon to speak directly to an astronaut aboard the International Space Station. News 8's Kyle Mitchell is here in studio with more on the project and what it hoped to achieve. Kyle? Brian and Emily, students at the West Michigan Aviation Academy asked questions as the International Space Station passed overhead. November Alpha 1 Sierra Sierra NA1SS. This is Whiskey 8 India Sierra Sierra calling for a scheduled school contact. Over. A radio call to a symbol of international cooperation in space. This is Whiskey 8 India Sierra Sierra for a scheduled school contact. Over. Hello Whiskey 8 it's India Sierra Sierra. This is November Alpha 1 Sierra Sierra. I got you loud and clear. Over. Gave students with the West Michigan Aviation Academy near Grand Rapids a chance of a lifetime. What kind of training do you get as an astronaut to mentally prepare you for the challenges of missions in space? Over. Thank you for the question. So um, throughout the training... The students asked questions to space station astronaut Sultan Al Niadi, who is from the United Arab Emirates. We did a little bit of research beforehand and then I formulated my question there in my class. I feel like every kid has gone through an astronaut phase and has been like, if I was an astronaut, this is what I wanted to do. So I think I had a vague idea. I've always been curious about like the logistics of everything. Like, where does this go? Why are you doing this? Where does, how does it work? So it's pretty easy to come up with a question. Sophomore Kira Amos asked a question about how the space station disposes of garbage and human waste. So we need to utilize a, a recycled water to purify that and reuse it. But unfortunately, the solid uh, waste, we don't have a, a, a facility to uh, reuse that. So we store them in, a, in barrels and send them to uh, burn an atmosphere in a, in a returning cargo vehicle. Over. The students were assisted by amateur radio groups who had the equipment used to transmit directly to the space station as it passed overhead. It took many hours. I know my dad spent uh, many hours that late at night working on the coax, on the equipment. Uh, and they even the week before put the antennas on the roof with the help of a local contractor. The school hopes having a unique experience like this will inspire students to pursue science and technology careers and maybe even become an astronaut someday. And I think it's just great for our students to hear that and for our students to understand a little more about what it takes to put something into space and, and to get people to space and what's required of the astronauts in space and I think it just kind of helps put that career path in the in the realm of the possible for our students. Getting a connection to the International Space Station isn't easy. Weather and other technical issues can interfere. The students in the school were grateful that everything worked. Brian.